Security First Corp. Safety through knowledge. How to find network switch IP address? Imagine you're trying to troubleshoot a network issue and you need to find the IP address of a network switch. It's not as straightforward as finding your computer's IP, but it's definitely doable with the right steps. First, let's start with the basics. If you know the IP address of a workstation and the router it's connected to, you can use this information to track down the switch. Begin by connecting to the router using Telnet or SSH. Once you're in, use the command show ARP workstation IP to get the MAC address of the workstation. For example, if the workstation's IP is 10.0.1, you'd use show ARP 10.0.1 to get its MAC address. Next, use the show CDP neighbors detail command on the router to find out which switch is directly connected to the router. This command will give you details about the neighboring devices, including the switch's management IP address. Now, connect to the switch using Telnet or SSH and use the show MAC address table address MAC address command to find out which port the workstation is connected to. Here, you replace MAC address with the MAC address you found earlier. If the interface is an access port, you found the switch and the port. But if it's a trunk port leading to another switch, you'll need to repeat the process by using show CDP neighbors detail again to find the next switch in the chain. Another method involves using the console port of the switch. If you have physical access to the switch, you can connect to it via a console cable. Install the necessary USB console drivers on your computer, then log into the switch using the console connection. Once logged in, use commands like show IP VLAN or show IP management to find the IP address of the management VLAN. If the switch is configured to receive a DHCP address, you can check the DHCP server to find the lease assigned to the switch. Look for the MAC address of the switch, which is usually found on a sticker on the back of the device. This MAC address will match the one in the DHCP leases list, revealing the IP address of the switch. For some switches, there's an out-of-band OOB port that allows you to access the switch even if it's not connected to the main network. You'll need to configure your computer with a static IP address in the same subnet as the OOB port's default address, typically something like 192.168.239. Each of these methods can help you track down the IP address of a network switch, making it easier to manage and troubleshoot your network. So, the next time you're faced with this challenge, you'll know exactly where to start. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.